Welcome back. It is Wednesday. Time for our knit along. You all have been very busy and I've had the opportunity to meet with some of you in person. So last week I told you about a fall retreat I visited hosted by Chickadee Knit Studio. About 60 knitters and crocheters came out and worked on projects all day long. One of the things that was discussed during this retreat was shawls. You see some here and some of the different ways that you can wear them. So aside from just throwing them over your shoulders, look at what she's doing here. Try tucking one of the ends underneath the other so the weight of the top layer holds the shawl in place. The group also discussed breed specific yarns and trying something other than merino wool. There was also an India yarn dyer at the retreat, Deirdre Dar. She hand dyes some yarn for her business, Keenan Hand Dyne Yarn. She made the trip to Perrysburg from the UP. The endeavor started when she wanted a specific color and decided to just do it herself. So she started dyeing in her kitchen, selling yarn at local farmers markets. And now she's in 18 stores and she sells at trade shows. She's working on opening a studio outside her house and she has outgrown her space. She says deep teal is is a super popular color right now. Just like people have different hair, sheep have different hair. And there's a, some wools that we want to wear next to our skin, and there's some that are coarser, like a lopey kind of. I'm really excited. I'm going to be working with a new mill out of uh, Michigan, and they're going to have all American yarn, or all American wools. So I'm super excited about that, because I'll be introducing that into my line in the coming year. Okay, so I if we can go back and play that other uh, that other clip there, I wanted you to hear what she had to say about breed specific yarn. So Karen is Just talking like about people it. People have different hair. Sheep have different hair. And there's a, some wools that we want to wear next to our skin, and there's some that are coarser, like a lopey kind of thing, where it's got crispy, curly, kinky, and it sticks together really well. And that's what we want to use for a fair isle or a project that's interwoven with different colors, because those those crispies keep the those curls kinks keep the yarn together so that those colors don't split apart so some really good information there the group also talked about accessories she's holding a couple of them here specifically for shawls there are stylish pins that you can also buy to help hold your shawl in place and let's hear from Deir Deirdre again from Keenan hand dyed yarn about what she's going to be working on here coming up I don't know if we can cue that or not again but I would like to hear from Deirdre I'm really excited. I'm going to be working with a new mill out of uh, Michigan, and they're going to have all American yarn or all American wools. So I'm super excited about that because I'll be introducing that into my line in the coming year. Yeah, so we'll look forward to that. If you are interested in Deirdre's yarn, you can find her online and on social media, Keenan Hand Dyed Yarn. So um, they did some really great things at that retreat from hosted by Chickadee Knit Studio. And also, if you are looking to join a knitting and crocheting group, there is a new one in town. I visited this group at the Reynolds Corners Branch Library on Door Street. This group meets once a month on Friday afternoons and only having met a couple times so far, this group has had some really great turnout, about a dozen people, and they span all skill levels and ages. I'm told the youngest there in that group is just 16 years old, and the oldest, or you know, the person who would admit age anyway, the oldest is 79. I saw some people knitting, crocheting, and working on a loom, and some were working on sweaters, others on blankets and scarves. Um, you get to see other people's projects, get ideas for something you might want to do in the future if you're having trouble with something. Someone's always around to help you. Um, just a couple of weeks ago, another lady and I helped someone fix a mistake in her knitting. So that was really cool to be a more experienced knitter to be able to help someone. Because a lot of people helped me when I was learning out. So now it's nice to return the favor. The group next meets at the Reynolds Corners Branch Library on November 17th from 2 to 4 p.m. So if you're looking to join a group that might be in your neighborhood, head over there November 17th from 2 to 4 4 p.m. Of course, we love to see what you are working on at home. Check out how busy Barb Chio has been. So Barb and her husband cruised to and around Northern Europe during the summer. Her mission was to knit and buy yarn from as many places as she could find yarn shops. So she found many very nice shops and had a grand time exploring the area. So 
In all, she bought 49 skeins. Some were pricey like the musk ox in Greenland, but she also found some wool in Iceland at a supermarket for $6.35 per 100 grams. So great deal there. On her trip, she knitted hats, headbands, mitts, you see them all here, using 10 skeins leaving 39 to fit in their bags, which she said she did fit everything in their bags to get them back home. So she had quite the adventure over the summer. Show us your projects, whether they are finished or not. You can send us photos of what you're working on. You can post them to my Facebook page, Amanda Fay, Anchor Reporter. Make sure to include your name, where you're from, any other details about your project you would like to share.